Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back. Today is an exciting day for season 10 because we finally have the confirmed date of the end of season 10 and man, it's only a few days away. But before we jump into the video, guys, I want to ask you guys to do me a quick favor. Make sure notifications are turned on for my channel as well as I'm going to be doing a giveaway of two glow skins you guys will enter this giveaway rules is right down below in my description box but you guys are listening to me and you guys follow these steps subscribe to the channel turn on notifications follow me on twitter and instagram and just dm me whatever you guys want as simple as that just those are the main steps now also comment fortnite or glow down below in the uh comment section as well as if you want to take a step further tweet me or dm me on instagram just spam me or whatever you want on instagram twitter make sure you guys have notifications on for all social medias all right cool did that all right let's go now so we got a blog from fortnite matchmaking bots controls and the combined update so by the fortnite team hey up folks it's time for an update on some conversations we started last week Fortnite, matchmaking, and bots, along with the new controller settings and the combined playlist. So, let me take you guys through this whole little blog and explain you guys everything that Fortnite's talking about. So, now we have Season X Tension. That's so corny, but whatever. So, now we know we, we all know that Season X was extended, but now we know it's extended by one week, all right? So, it's going to conclude on Sunday, October 13th. This is just 10 days away from the making of this video so make sure you guys complete all your challenges all your get to tier 100 get to level 100 get to wherever you guys want to get i'll complete all your challenges whatever skins it don't matter make sure you achieve everything you have to achieve in season 10 i was gonna say four i don't know why but whatever just letting you guys know when season 11 is here i'm gonna be doing a five battle pass giveaway but when that time comes we will announce that as for now if you are watch this you guys know be on the lookout for a five battle pass giveaway. This could be 10. That's us go ahead bucks, right? I could do 10, yo. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys want. Next up, guys, we're going to talk about the update on the new matchmaking system. So as you guys know, Fortnite recently has rolled out a new style of matchmaking. Now it's like a skill-based matchmaking system. Now everybody's a little salty because they're actually running into good players. And good players are meaning good players. And bots are meaning bots. Which is kind of fair in reality. But as a content creator, you kind of want to run into bots. Or have like a fair mix-up of everybody. And plus, let's be honest... Those Q times, bro, the Q times have just been getting worse and worse. As Fortnite goes on, it just gets longer and longer. And honestly, they need to find a way to fix that. And along with Smurfing, they're saying that if people keep making complaints or negative reports on people who are making, who are Smurfing, which is basically making an account to run into bots and then whoop their butt. If there's enough reports, I guess, like they'll take appropriate action, which is probably ban you, your bot, your side account, or maybe they'll ban your main account. I don't know how that works. Let me know what you guys think Fortnite is going to do. Last but not least, guys, we got two topics to cover. That's going to be the bots coming to Fortnite as well as the updates on the new controller settings. As you guys know, I recently left controller like a few months ago. Probably, I don't think that's the best decision I ever made, but whatever. Um, look, be on the lookout for a video, though, uh, playing playing uh, controller after months of playing PC or some crap. We'll figure it out. Whatever. You guys know me. So let's talk about the bots first, guys. What happens with spectating if I'm defeated by a bot? Instead of viewing the bot that defeated you, you will view another remaining player. So I'm guessing that instead of viewing the bot just running around walking to a tree, you actually view a real player. That's good. Thank God. I want to watch a bot walk into a tree all day. You can imagine that. It's like me playing. Okay. Will I be able to party up with bots? Okay, that's... I hope you don't want to party up with bots, bro. Because if you do, I just got to admit, you're, you're, you must be really trash if you need the help from bots from Fortnite, bro. You can imagine they're walking in the tree. I keep saying it, but it's going to happen. Can bots use vehicles? Can bots do 90s? Hell no! Bro, you see how hard it is to do 90s, bro? You, bro, if we can... If I can barely do 90s, you think a bot... Can you think they can make a bot do 90s? Probably. Can I play in a match? Can I play a match entirely against bots? Uh, we're looking into a uh, versus bot mode, which means to sharpen your skills, explore the map, and help elevate your game to the next level. That's actually kind of good. That I mean, I wouldn't say is to help sharpen skills. I'd say maybe sharpen your aim and maybe a little building per se, but maybe when your aim. But that should be, that's something I'm kind of looking forward to, like the, the versus bot mode. I'm definitely going to play that a lot. And what about bots creative? Uh, we don't need bots creative. We'll just, well, actually, no, bots and creative should be a thing because bots will not be in creative. 
I think that's sh but what the hell is a roadmap? Whatever, we'll figure that out, bro. We'll figure it out when the time has come. Who cares about creative? It's only made for face away anyway. Last but not least, my dudes, let's talk about this new control settings for controller players. Uh, you guys can at any time, as the blog says, you can anytime go back and revert to your previous settings. If you want to do that, you go to navigate to controller settings, turn on use advanced options, and scroll down to select copy legacy settings all right guys so make sure you guys do that if you guys don't like playing on this new uh controller sensitivity bros so it looks like soon keyboard and mouse players will finally be able to adjust build and edit sensitivities that's actually pretty cool i'm looking forward to that honestly personally that's i don't know i i play pc so i'm kind of looking forward to anything that can help me improve my building and my aim per se and then finally guys the combine Combined now is going to be a core mode in Fortnite Battle Royale because I think it does help people. It does help with your aim and your movements and all that stuff. So I think it's a good thing, bro. So if you guys like today's video, guys, thanks for watching this long video. Drop a like and subscribe. Notifications turned on. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And make sure to follow the rules and the steps to enter the Glow Skin giveaway. And guys, help your boy Prook bring back the channel. We need to bring it back to like 100, 150 part of members of Notification Squad, man. So peace. I love y'all, man. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thank you for the continuous support. And use code YT underscore PookieTube.